Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here at the outdoor kitchen to make a super easy recipe that you're going to want to make at home this holiday season using Shiner beer. And check it out right here. Orale, it is a Mexican lager made by Shiner and it is really crisp. It's light, it's refreshing, and it's going to pair so well with these mussels we're making today. So we're going to make Shiner steamed mussels. First thing you want to do is you want to get a fennel bulb. So you want to cut off the fronds, right? You want to cut off the stock, go into the bulb, and you want to cut off the root at the end. And when you cut it open, you're going to want to make a little V shape and then cut out the center of that as well. It's like the root right there. So cut the root out and then just chop them up. You're going to want to do onions, shallots, and garlic. We're using elephant garlic here, but you could use whatever garlic you want. I like the elephant garlic. It's a little bit bigger, plus it doesn't have as much of a pungent garlic flavor to it. It has more of a sweetness to it, so I like that a lot. Once you have everything chopped up, you're going to want to put some oil on the bottom of a pot. Stock pots are nice, a little bit taller. Dump all of your chopped vegetables onto the bottom. You're going to wait for them to get nice and soft, about two to three minutes. Now, this is a really interesting part of this recipe. You can use chorizo. I'm using a hot Italian sausage. You can get them at HEB, but you cut the casing off of the outside, and then you just get the inside, all, all that flavor, and you just dump it right into there as well. So you're going to cook the sausage in the pan, and you're going to let all those flavors just kind of marry together. And then once that goes for about two to three minutes, it's going to cook really fast. You want to get some San Marzano tomatoes. Now, these guys are super special, right? They're canned in Italy. And these ones right here, these are the whole tomatoes. I like these a lot because what you can do is you can actually hand crush them, which is really special because it's going to get that fresh crush texture that you want on those tomatoes. Mix that all together. Now, that's going to cook for about another three to four minutes, let it kind of reduce a little bit, let everything get to know each other. And then you want to make sure that your mussels are nice and clean. So you want to go over, rinse them off. You want to go to your pot once everything's kind of reduced now, and you're going to pour in four bottles of orale. This is that Mexican style cerveza, this is that Mexican lager. Pour four of these guys in there, and it's going to give you about like this much on the bottom of the pot, depending on the size of the pot. You're going to want that to come to a roaring boil because there is alcohol in there that you want to cook off. Then once all that is mixed together, you want to get your mussels that you just rinsed off and you're going to dump them into the pot. Now you want to mix it all together so they're getting all around the mussel and then you want to put a lid on it and let that come to another boil, okay? Now once that has come to a boil, you want to lower the heat that's on your fire. Now we have a grill out here, so what we're going to do is grill up some of this beautiful French baguette that we got at HEB. Just cut it into small pieces, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, and we're just going to get some nice colors on there on the grill. It's going to give you a little bit of good texture on there as well. About four minutes after the boil has happened with the mussels, you're going to want to dump in some butter. Now, you can use unsalted regular butter, but what we're using is these little dollops of butter that you can get at HEB. It is like the biggest life hack in the world. It comes with Parmesan, garlic, herbs and seasoning, no salt, and butter. Just dump them all in. Now, we're using four packages of them to mix into all of this because you want a lot of flavor in there, that butteriness, that fat that comes off that as well. And then just mix that up one last time, bring it over, and then plate it up. Now, we're using bowls so we can have some sauce on the bottom. And then we're putting our little bit of toasted baguettes on the side. Then we're going to get some of these fennel fronds on the side, just like this. And then you can put it on top for a little garnish. It looks beautiful. It looks like you're sitting at a gourmet restaurant, right? And it's so easy to make. I, I mean, people get intimidated by mussels because they don't know how to make them. They never made them. But once you make this recipe, you're going to make them all the time for your friends. Follow the link on the screen right now. Go to the website. Get this recipe. Perfect for the holidays. And what I highly recommend is enjoying it with a nice ice cold holiday cheer beer from Shiner. Look at the sauce, how beautiful this is in there. A great color. Get some of the little chunks of flavor on there as well. Grab yourself a mussel, put it right on top. Perfect for the holidays, you guys. Cheers. This is how Texas eats. Mm. Oh, this is amazing.